Hey, do you want to make a podcast? Spotify's got a platform that lets you make one super easily, then distribute it everywhere and even earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here is how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or your computer. So no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating right now. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take your conversation with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are the best way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free with no catch. I've hosted my podcast on Spotify for Podcasters since day one, so I highly recommend you give it a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com forward slash podcasters to get started today. This ad is about AT&T's deal on the new iPhone 15 Pro, and it's real, guaranteed. That's not always the case with other ads. The view of a lifetime. Only with a pricey upgrade. Breathe in to find inner peace. Then pay extra to remove the ads. At AT AT&T, we mean what we say. Learn how to get iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us with eligible trade-in. Guaranteed. Connecting changes everything. AT&T. See att.com slash iPhone for details about the guaranteed trade-in promo for new and existing customers. Available for a limited time. Terms and restrictions apply. Hey, FBG family. Today's Pep Talk Wednesday episode was previously recorded and it was a part of our subscriber community, which is no longer available at this moment. But I just wanted to give you a disclaimer that I did film this, I think, last year or yeah, last year. It's been a minute. But I really wanted to talk about personal space because this is still true to me and I am still growing in this area. So I wanted to share it with you. So please. Enjoy. And I'll see you again in two weeks with a brand new Pep Talk Wednesday episode. Hey, Brad, you know how Nationwide is more than an insurance company? Yeah, they're one of America's largest financial services companies. We get that in a song like Business Life Retirement. Or Nationwide's there to protect. I'm kind of the jingle guy. Not sure I agree with that. Well, I'm not sure I like your hat. Well, it would never fit on you. Products issued by Nationwide Life Insurance Company or Nationwide Life and Annuity Insurance Company. The general distributor for variable products is Nationwide Investment Services Corporation, member FINRA, Columbus, Ohio. Let's get serious about our personal space. Hey family, welcome to the first bonus real chat for subscribers only. Y'all, I feel so exclusive. I am so happy you chose to subscribe and support my podcast. And it's only because of you that I'm able to put out this content and I am so grateful. So let's get right into it. It is time to get serious about our personal space, y'all. I've been thinking about this a lot more, and as I reflect on my life over the years, I'm grateful for how far I've come, but sometimes I get so frustrated with myself for continuously allowing myself to go in circles. Literally, round and round, okay? Now, let me tell y'all exactly what I mean. So I live in Los Angeles, California, which is a hot spot for visitors, right? I have a lot of friends that like to come out to visit and they ask if they can stay with me. I say sure because I want to see them and I would want them to do the same for me if I were in their city and I wanted to see them. And being from the South, I am a very hospitable person, almost to a fault. So what I've been noticing within myself is a growing uncomfortability in having overnight guests in my space for a multitude of reasons. But the biggest reason is that I simply like my solitude. My home is my sanctuary and I have done a lot of work and spent a lot of money making it that way. Y'all, I'm a single 27 year old who has been living on her own since college, literally since I graduated from high school. When I went to college at Northwestern State University in Louisiana, I didn't move back home. Immediately after college, I moved to the East Coast and then I went home for like three months after living out there for two years and then I moved here to LA. So I really have been living on my own for, oh my God, almost 10 years now. But anyways, 
I've learned that I like things the way I like things. And for a long time, I was always uncomfortable with accepting that. But as I was reflecting the other day, I realized, Tyra, your 20s are your selfish years. Own that. Be selfish. And I don't mean in, you know, like a narcissistic way or an unhealthy way, but being selfish in a sense of put yourself first because you don't get this time back. Girl, you ain't got no kids. You don't have no real responsibilities for other people. So this is your time to truly be selfish. And I need to own that. If you don't want anyone in your space, say no. If you don't want company, say no. So here's the issue. It's not the guests, y'all. It's me. When somebody want to come stay or spend a weekend or a week with me, I feel like I need to do all the things. The kitchen needs to be clean. The bathroom. I need food in the house so they can eat. I need fresh towels. The whole nine. Like I make it like resort Tyra the creative up in here. You feel me? And that is so stressful to me on top of juggling working as a full-time content creator and actress. And recently it's becoming more and more of like a bother for me. So I am in a season of getting serious about my personal space. And I think I'm going to actually revoke overnight access to my home for at least the next six months to truly decompress and get myself back to where I like to be in my own space. Because I have so many friends that have come to stay with me and it gets a little overwhelming. And you may be like, sis, why is this so overwhelming? Like what is going on? What's the deal? Y'all, sometimes I just want to walk around in my drawers. Point blank period, the end. Sometimes I don't want to put on clothes. Sometimes I don't want my TV on. Sometimes I don't want to cook dinner for an extra person because your girl is definitely on a budget. And even if my guest offers to buy the food, I don't be wanting to cook all the time. And on top of that, you may say, well, let them cook. No, because I don't like nobody cooking in my kitchen. I am very, very particular about a lot of stuff. And for a long time, I've let what other people say about my particularness, that's not a word, but I've let what people say about me being particular get to me in a way that it shouldn't. And it affected me so much in a negative way that I started to feel ashamed that I don't like my TV above volume 50 or don't use a silver fork in my nonstick pan. Like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of people who don't really care about that kind of stuff. And what I've realized is that I need to own my truth and I need to speak up, especially in my space, because it's my space because I paid rent here. I furnished this apartment. I bought them pants that you about to scratch up with that fork. Like don't play with me. And I have worked very long and very hard to make this space home for me to be comfortable in it. So I'm building my confidence in being serious about my personal space and not feeling guilty about saying no to friends who want to come stay because they want to visit Los Angeles. And before y'all think I'm just being antisocial, they can definitely still come. I just prefer that they get a hotel and I control the amount of time that I see them because my space is my sanctuary and I will treat it as such. All right, y'all. Until next time. <laughs>